Hey guys, it's Regant here, and in this video I'm gonna show you how you can build this easy mouse and other lane and seed farm and yeah, have fun. So we start with placing seven blocks in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On one side we place torches. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And on top of it redstone. Like this. Then we put observers here, facing the torch. Like this and then we put down observers facing the other observers then we go here take our pistons and place them on top of on top of here and we take sticky pistons and place them on top of here And we take stairs and put them on top of the normal pistons right here. Like this. Now we take normal stone, go to the sticky pistons and place them in front of it. 12 in a row. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Repeat this for every sticky piston. Now we take glass, go here and surround everything and build a frame. Important, leave one spot open right here, so do it like this. And now build everything one block higher. Then take water and place it all in the stairs here, like this. And close it also up with glass. Then leave one block open and do another row of glass like this so it will look like this now we take lava and put it right here now you see we got here a little stone generator after we got this we we go here leave one blocks open and here we place a row of normal blocks now in front of the blocks we place normal trapdoors and you can activate them and put water in here. Now if you open them, the water will flow down. Now just place redstone here on top of that and take again glass. Start here and continue building another row glass. Like this. Now we build our collecting system for that. We start with ice on both corners like this blocks if you don't have ice you can use any other block you don't have to use ice but it's a little bit better than other blocks because it collects faster then put down chests right here oh like this and take coppers and put them into the chest then we take water and put them in both corners right here that's important now go over here remove this block and take normal building blocks Put them right here and then two oh, on top of here you can remove this one again then put another two by two area here and one block on top of it take a redstone torch and put it right here so now it had to look like this now go here put a repeater here on the highest level and here another one put redstone on both of these blocks and a comparator right here then we put redstone here and another comparator right here. Then go back to the beginning, put another block here and a lever on top so you can activate the system. Now go into the middle of your farm, mine, mine should be here, place a temporary block and a, mo a most block on top of it, you can remove this one. Then again two temporary blocks, one dispenser and put it right here so it will look into the most block. On top of it, we place a hopper leading into it. Then on the hopper, we put another two temporary blocks and we take again a dispenser and place it right here. So it will look like this. Now you can remove this block, take a piston and place it 
like this. So it will look onto the mouse block. Then we go here, take a repeater and place it like this. And a redstone just right on the dispenser. On top of the redstone, we have to place another an observer facing the redstone like this. And next to the observer, we can place another one, but this time in the opposite direction. Then place one block on top of here, take a repeater and place it like here, right here. You can get down. And now place one block right here and one block right there. Yeah. Now it should look it should look like this. Then take an observer and place it that the red dot is looking to you like this. Then we take two blocks, remove one, and one sticky piston right here. Now we can re remove this block here. Then take again normal blocks, go three blocks into this direction, two blocks into this, and one block here, and put all over redstone, like this. Then place another block right here, and three blocks below it like this. By the way, this one we can remove. This was just to test the, the water th the water system. Then remove this block, place another one here and remove this one. So it will look like this. Then go to the lowest block, split five uh, blocks into this direction. One, two, three, four, five. Then split again the same thing like we did here. Now go here. Place a lever right here, a redstone on top, and two torches, two redstone torches, right there and there. You already hear the system is already doing some stuff. If we use the lever again now, you see the water will go away. Like this. Then go here. Oh, go here. Put a repeater right here on the second level one two and one repeater here on the last level one two three comparator in front of both of them then place a temporary block here and a hopper leading into it go on to the other side and put another hopper so they look to each other now take a sticky piston place one right there and run right here and take a redstone block and put it between them like this now put another redstone here and now you have to take an item that is stackable and eight of them and put them into one hopper i am taking redstone but you can also take for example apples co uh, corn or anything you want and put it in this is our clock now now the clock is ready and you can activate it here then you see it will switch and then the water will uh, get turned on or off with this system but for now we turn it off but here you can turn the thumb on and off now go back to your lever and put two blocks below it like this one two and put one redstone on top of it and below the block put a red uh, sticky piston like this then dig out the block below the sticky piston and put an observer inside it important the red dot has to look up and put a slime block between it then put obsidian right here and here. Then take your normal blocks, build two blocks here, connect it to here. Oh no, this one was too much. One block from here and two blocks are here, so it will look like this. Now take repeaters and place them all around here. So every one on the last stage. So one, two, three. One, two, three. 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 The last step to do here is to take a normal block, put it right here, and run redstone here. And now we're done for this. Now go to this side, put a hopper right here, leading into the dispenser, and a chest on top of it. Oh. 
after you got everything filled with bone meal you don't have to put in that much but um, you will anyway generate more bone meal than you invest if you compost it but now we can go activate the farm and now you will see you will get tons of moss and azaline and yeah now you can go afk or do some other other stuff and you will get tons of moss and other than most carpets, also seeds and yeah, it's pretty nice. The farm is very efficient and you can get up to 15,000 items per hour. You can expand the storage system a little bit by uh, putting more chests in a row. So yeah, <laughs> probably also a sorting system if you don't want to sort it by yourself. But yeah, that's the farm. I really hope you uh, like the farm and it will help you out. And hopefully see you in the next video. Bye.